Have you been asked to take the Alex PPL but don't know where to start? Well, in this video, we're going to figure out everything you need to know about the Alex PPL. What is the Alex? According to their website, Alex quote unquote applies combinatronics and stochastic processes theory to the modeling and empirical description of particular domains of knowledge. Did you catch that? Great, because neither did I. And what does this PPL in Alex PPL even mean? Well, PPL stands for Placement, Preparation and Learning. Not only does the Alex PPL help you place in certain courses in math and other STEM subjects at UMaine, it also gives you learning modules to improve your score at the assessment so you can better place in courses where you can get the most bang for your buck. UMaine uses the Alex assessment to gauge your readiness for certain courses in math and other STEM subjects. It's a placement and not an exam. Alex also uses AI to map students' strengths and weaknesses. The assessment costs $25 and includes three attempts at the assessment, as well as an individualized learning and preparation module. Hey, that's a good deal any day of the week. It's up to 30 questions long. It can take anywhere from 60 to 90 minutes. There's no MCQs and it's open response. You'll see some, but not all of the topics you've covered in high school math. I'm sure you're all thinking whether you even need to take the Alex assessment or not. If you scan this QR code, it'll take you to a UMaine resource that'll give you all the information you need to know about the Alex PPL. For instance, if you want to know about some of the alternatives to the Alex PPL for placement, or whether your major even requires a placement, be sure to scan the QR code for more information. So I recommend you uh, contact your program coordinator for more information before you just assume something about a course. So enough talking about theoreticals. How do you actually take the assessment? Well, first you need to commit to UMaine, get your UMS ID and password, pay your deposit, then you can go ahead and take your assessment. It's advised that you take the assessment as soon as possible because the material from high school is still fresh in your mind at that point. Also, you might require the placement in your first semester, so you need to figure that out before you take your courses. So arguably the most important question you want an answer to is, what do these scores actually mean? You'll be given a score immediately after, so if you don't like waiting for your scores, you're in luck. Depending on your scores, you'll see different thresholds and you'll see a course responding to that threshold and you'll have to take that course. However, we recommend you retake the Alex assessment with the individualized learning and prep module because we've seen students improve by quite a bit and over 90% of students actually improve by one whole course. But what if, for whatever reason, you need to retake the Alex PPL? Well, the Alex PPL provides you with a self-paced online individualized study plan based on your performance at the assessment, which will help you fill in the missing gaps in your understanding. Additionally, you will also be able to take the Alex assessment up to two times after studying the learning modules. It's important to note, however, that you must wait 48 hours between assessment attempts and spend at least five hours on the learning modules for each attempt after your first one. As a general rule of thumb, we recommend spending 15 hours or more in a learning module since students who have done that in the past have shown the most improvement. And here I want to focus on two aspects of the Alex PPL that are incredibly cool. After you take the assessment, the Alex PPL will provide you with personalized learning materials through on-the-spot feedback, explanations, and necessary contextual information to help guide you along the way. They will also help you along with something called continuous reinforcement by occasionally asking you questions regarding what you've learned to make sure you've mastered those topics. So it's completely in your favor to retake the Alex assessment if you're not happy with your score, but even if you're happy with your score, it'll help you brush up concepts if you follow the individualized learning and prep module. So here's three major takeaways. Firstly, the Alex assessment is an online assessment here at UMaine. Secondly, it's 60 to 90 minutes long. There's 30 open response questions, no MCQs, and you can retake the Alex assessment twice more in order to improve your score if need be. Thank you for tuning in and I hope you have a great assessment.